sweet sound of steel pan makes you want to dance every time we have Tobago Thursdays and Emperor saying we must dance for their school tour. Joining us this morning virtually is the founder of Emperor's Dance and the gentleman behind the school tour, Mr. Venerick Cupid, and he's going to tell us what exactly it means to keep moving in the schools. Good morning, Mr. Cupid, and welcome to the Now Morning Show. Good morning, good morning, and thank you for having me. It is an absolute pleasure, not just because we like to dance, but the fact that you're making sure that the students do is beautiful. And I must ask right off the bat, what inspired this school tour? Why are we making the children dance? Well, the, the beautiful thing about the school tour is that each of the members in my dance company, which is Emperor's Movement Professionals, each of us started dancing at a secondary school level. Well, some of us from even before that, but we made our official dance debut to the general public at the secondary school level. And at that time, um, that was in like 20, 2007, 2009, back then we used to call it Skianting. Um, we felt like we didn't have um, sufficient mentors or leadership when it, when it comes to dance back then, because it wasn't really a big prominent thing, especially our genre of dancing back then. Mm -hmm. So the We Must Dance Store serves as our way to sort of spread dance awareness and also to sort of revitalize and to sort of engage the masculine interest of it because we fell in love with dance as young men in school. And right now, how, since we are older and we, we would have done more on the island, we have the opportunity to be what we didn't had back then. Mm -hmm. So we can provide that mentorship. We can provide that guidance to young men that want to use dance as, a, as an expression vehicle. That is a beautiful reason. And it means then that while you are focusing on more gentlemen, it is open to all students for free, right? Of course, of course, of course. Um, and that is one of the beautiful things about the tour. The tour will be, the tour has a lot of surprises and it's not just um, Emperor's alone, it's Emperor's in, with the collaboration of the Division of Tourism, Culture, Antiquities and Transportation. So there will be that folk, that Tobago heritage aspect to it that I think that a lot of individuals on the island sort of would have um, unintentionally cast aside for mm. the foreign culture. So we will be we will be reintroducing them to their own heritage, to their own folk dances, so that way they could fall back in love. And also, one of our biggest, biggest supporters, one of our biggest and sponsors from day one, happens to be Foggy Angels Tobago Carnival. From the time I see movement on the island, especially when it comes to Tobago Carnival, and we just be a part of them, Foggy Angels was like, yes, you're doing something for the kids, the next dancers to come up we need to be on board with that so I, I would like to thank everybody the division the secretary everybody um dr thomas for making this possible because we are going to change some lives this morning oh gosh that's beautiful to hear now i love that yes you have partnership already and support already from some large entities but i'm sure there's room for more because when you talk about oh, doing a yes. school tour it starts yes. today. Tell me what is the goal in terms of how long we want this to go on, perhaps future endeavors that you'd like to bring on board as well, and how other persons can help make that possible. Um, well, I'm happy to say that this school tour happens to be um, phase one. Our main goal is a two-legged two program. Um, in, no, in April, they have international... International um, World Day of Dance, I should right. say, right? International World Day of Dance. And due to that, we would like to create a Tobago product. And that is the end goal here. We would like to create a Tobago product involving the, involving the students. That, they, that way they can display something trendy that they like. Because we know that the young people love the TikTok. They love the crazies. <laughs> but also they, could, <laughs> also, they could display something that is, according to um, the elder folks, are we own? Something that is Tobago, something that is unique to Tobago. So it'll be a nice um, collaboration between the new and the folk. So that is where I want this to go. I would like to give all of these young students the sort of spotlight and attention that we never had or we struggled to earn right. growing up, right? That is one of our main goals because we have been given and Emperor's feels tremendously blessed on the island. We have been given so much love from the patrons that be watching us perform 
so much love and support from everybody that would have chanted no scruffy we must dance and i think that it is our duty especially as male as males on the island to play a positive positive role model or play a, or play a positive path for, the, for them so that way that they could have it easier if they decide to follow dance going forward Beautifully put. Now, let's get a little bit more specific into the tour itself. A tour means that you're going places, so tell me how many schools we're looking <laughs> at and dates. I know we start today, but give me a calendar today. of events, if you will. Okay, so today we're doing a one-day tour. This tour is going to be very brief, but while it's brief, it's going to be juicy. So <laughs> it's going to be about half an hour, and with that half an hour, at, we're going to start off with Compre, which is Signal Hill. Then we're going up to Mason Hall. Then we're finishing at Speyside. And we, we only started with three right now. Just This is just a testing pilot. So next year, all goes well. We, could def we will definitely include more schools. And when we get to those schools, we are going to be performing. We are going to have some of the cultural practitioner like Mr. Silvert. Everybody knows Daryl Gregg, which is Silvert, and Mr. Dion Briggs. They will also be performing so that way the, the students, especially the young men, could see men dancing. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to engage them directly give them little activities and they will be earning some tokens, some very attractive tokens. These tokens was put together by, uh, by, by the, by Foggy Angels, by the Division of Tourism. So, and by employees ourselves. So we would have put together a very nice package. So that way that they could understand that dancing isn't just something that you just do for fun. It has rewards once you dedicate yourself to the craft. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be nice and brief. It's going to be trendy. It's going to be popping. It's going to be fresh. We're going to get them to move. We're going to get them to dance. And our hope is during that half an hour, that brief half an hour, while we are at each school, we give each individual watching a brief vacation. Something <laughs> to take their mind away from whatever may be bothering them on a personal or on a school level and make them smile and make them enjoy themselves. That sounds like something I want to be a part of. And I know oh that the intention <laughs> is to target you specifically, the gentleman, and that you're going to these schools. But it sounds to me like something that could definitely grow beyond schools, grow into adults, even here across in Trinidad. And I hope that it takes flight, to be quite true, because I want to move too. <laughs> oh, well, and, and just, man, that's the one thing about dancing. Dancing to me, Everybody could dance. Absolutely. Everybody may not be able to it's dance at how. the same level. <laughs> Everybody could dance. It's your expression. Absolutely. It's yours. Absolutely. Nobody could take that away from you. From the time I hear music, you'll nod. You are dancing. Yep. So it we will definitely look at expanding it. And I think that is the goal. We love we will love to um get this across to Trinidad. Uh, we know a lot of dance companies in Trinidad like EXO, Luna, Kurt. Um we know we, we know a few other many dance community, Kefim. So this is something that once we realize that it's going very well, we would love to do a partnership and we can have this to be actually to be a good thing because we are you we are losing our young men to violence. We are losing our 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 long men our young men to um to mental problems. And we realize that sometimes as a teenager, it's just that they don't know how to express themselves, they don't know how to talk without being looked at a look at a, a, a certain way to say, well, okay, um, me as a young man, me speaking about what's bothering me shows weakness. No, it isn't that. We, we have to find different ways to connect with them, different mm -hmm. ways to engage with them. And music and dancing, we realized with us as emperors, it was the easiest thing because emperors as brothers, we keep ourselves out of trouble. We, we guide each other. We talk to each other. We pull up each other when necessary. And we will love for young men to have that sort of integrity, that sort of accountability, that sort of honor. And that is what um, I believe some of the few things that dance bring, especially our folk dances on the island of Tobago, I believe that it teaches so many lessons, respect, composure, um, mm -hmm. how to present yourself, how to, how to dress for the part, how to speak, how to move. Yeah, we definitely need to get um, the next generation on it immediately. Well, Vanerick, we must move. It is only right. You must dance. <laughs> and in that case, I want to wish you good luck and enjoyment, Thank you. particularly to the persons who will be performing, but also to those who, as you said, will be getting that little vacation as you transform ah. the experience for both the viewers and the participants, and you continue to spread good messages, be good examples, and make sure that the children move on the school tour. Thank you so much for your efforts. We yes, applaud it. Blessings. 
And I look forward to checking in with you later on this year when you're going to tell me the date for Trinidad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, speak it into being. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a fantastic morning and thanks for joining us.